Hi and welcome back. In this video on how a neural network works, we are going to look at the basic building block of a neural network called as neuron. We'll see how the neural network outputs its output. We'll see the cost function involved in a neural network architecture. We'll look at the gradient and we'll look at the technique called as back propagation, which allows the neural network to learn. A neuron is the functional unit of a neural network. This is the architecture we saw in the previous video as well, where we have the input layer, the hidden layer, and the output layer. These nodes over here are called as the neurons. This neuron, let's say, gets two input, x1 and x2. It does some operation on top of it and outputs f of h. Let's say we also have two weights w1 and w2. In that case, my h is my x1 w1 plus x2 w2 and f of h is the sigmoid of h where sigmoid is my sigmoid activation function. By activation function, I only mean the output will have to go through the sigmoid function. You can also say that each of these neurons are performing logistic regression because we get the hypothesis as beta 0 plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus bn xn plus b which is equal to w into x plus b and the hypothesis is given by h of x is equal to f of w into x plus b and then we apply the sigmoid function on top of it. Now let's see how the weight and the input is used to get the output. Let's say we have two weights x1, x2 and two weights w11 and w21 representing the weight going from x1 to the first node and x2 to the first node. Here the first hypothesis represented by h1 is equal to x1 w11 plus x2 w21 and the output from this node will be sigmoid of h1. Similarly for the node 2 the output will be calculated on top of h where h2 is equal to x1 w12 plus x2 w22 where w12 and w22 is the weight coming from x1 to the second node and x2 to the second node. Similarly we calculate the output from the third hidden layer node. Now the output from the hidden layer acts as the input to the output layer. So the h for the output node is equal to the output from the first hidden layer multiplied by weight plus the output from the second hidden layer multiplied with the weight plus the output from the third hidden layer multiplied with the weight and the final output from the output layer is given by applying the sigmoid function on top of it. This step of propagating the input from the input layer to the hidden layer and then to the output layer is called as forward propagation. Now let's look at the cost function for a neural network. The cost function for a neural network is the same as logistic regression. To minimize the cost, we use gradient descent. During gradient descent, we update the weights. B1 or W1 is equal to B1 minus the learning rate into the derivative of J of B1, which is the new weight is equal to the old weight minus the learning rate into the derivative of the cost function with respect to the weights, where the derivative of the cost with respect to the weight is the change of the cost with small change in the weights. But let's say we want to update the weight for this node. We want to update w11 and w21. To update this weight, we need to find out the change in the cost with respect to the change in w11 and w21. To do this, we have to back propagate the cost from the output layer to the hidden layer. This step of moving the cost from the output layer to the hidden layer so that we can update our weights is called as back propagation. Back propagation is a technique where the error is calculated at the output and distributed back through the network. The error term delta is the derivative of the cost function. 
which we are going to use during the backpropagation step. We start with the error term delta at the output layer and move it backwards to the hidden layer. To understand the error term at the hidden layer intuitively, the derivative of the cost function will depend on the weights between the two layers and the output going from the node. So the weight and the output going from the node. So the error term over here is given by W1 into the error term at the output multiply with the derivative of the output coming from the hidden layer. To understand the backpropagation algorithm, it works like this. For each input data, we do a forward pass calculating the output at each layer. We calculate the cost at the output layer. We propagate the derivative of the cost function backwards using backpropagation. We update the weights based on the value of the error term. In this video, we saw how a neural network works. In the next video, we'll learn about TensorFlow in neural networks in TensorFlow.js.